I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome back, everyone. I am the Dungeon Master, and this is Doomsday Aftermath. Today, we rejoin the party as they confront a strange new Batman who has appeared on the scene. This Batman has pale white skin and is a hulking, muscular figure, not unlike a bodybuilder in stature, and has long, flowing black hair. He comes at you with a cowl, if you can call it that, that seems to be made of metal. And as he approaches, he swings around a hook and chain. Uh, Great King Rat, you, through your connections with the Justice League, have heard stories of Superman doing battle with someone with a description like this out in space. But never has he been described as wearing a Batman costume or Batman-esque costume. So whether this is actually the famed space bandit Lobo or some imposter is impossible to tell. The one thing you do know based off of him blowing up cars and tossing vehicles to the side with the reckless abandonment of a child in a playground is that this is no ally and you are going to have to confront this foe you guys can go ahead and roll for initiative Why, why do you have such good initiative? Uh, I took the, 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 uh, improved initiative thing three times. Why? To improve my initiative. That's so much initiative. Fast rock man go burr. I guess you might have some kind of uh, primary sound. Heh <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of 
ground under me to start flying and just... I'm here now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch. Oh, don't forget to target. Oh, you did. Okay. Uh, Usually that... it says versus who. It didn't say that for some reason, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that a single success? Or what was the degree of success? Versus parry? That would be one degree of success. In fact, you just made it. Neat. Is it not gonna... Hmm, is it doing that again? It, uh... It was working last time. Alright. Oh, are you sure you're doing it right? I mean, I'm dragging from the... Uh... Here, let me let me try. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, try dragging and dropping it right onto his token. I just want to see if that. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. So uh, I need to roll toughness versus. Uh, Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Oh. Your punch has no effect as the man in the Batman metal mask turns and looks at you and says, you're going to have to do better than that. I can do that. Hey, hey, Drury. Uh, uh, go, uh, go get one of the Supermen. As fast as you fucking can. This isn't good. Yes, whatever you say, Wayne. Why? Right. Oh, there you go. Um, that's a single degree of success. That is one degree of success. So, yes. All right, versus 23. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we got to get those single target multi multi attacks in. Yeah. Oh, my God. Nice. So I'm going to focus on the immediate threat.
and I am going to, instead of uh, using any of my uh, weapons, I am just going to straight up punch you. That's fair. Uh-oh. Hit on a two. And then you're going to need to roll uh, versus 31. Yeah. Uh-oh. That is 14, which is three degrees of failure, which means you are now staggered. So that's one bruise. Yep. And then I jump up on top of this car. Oh, fucking rude. I fly off to Metropolis. Or, well, to go to the Justice League phone base to call in Superman or whatever. He's probably... He's got a cell phone. I, mo I mostly wanted him in the air so that they knew where to be. Um, yeah, but is he going to be able to reach one of the, you know, LexCore lines on a, on a regular cell phone? I assume we have an emergency contact. Uh, Killer Moth doesn't. He's, he's a Justice League sidekick carrying a bag. Yeah, sidekick. He's yeah. got he's got low me, he's got low level access. You're telling me that it, there's not a, a a help me button sidekick. There's not a call Superman button. All right, then he might have to go there himself. Yeah, that's all I'm saying is he can go himself. You know. Yeah. All right, so he takes off. Right. Staggered is you only get, like, a movement or a yep. attack, right? Yep. All right. And a miss. He is unaware of your presence. All right. That's fucking. He's not aware of me, so I'm just going to hide. You try to climb up the side of the car, but it was just freshly waxed, and you slide down as you try to attack. Yeah, just want to slip under the car. Keep the element of uh, some. Keep the element of some. All right. I pull out my chain and I try to wrap you up in it. All right, so this is a ranged affliction. You roll a dodge versus 23. Uh, me? 
Yes. All right, so you are hindered and vulnerable. That's not good. I don't know what either of those mean. Vulnerable, I believe, halves your defenses and hindered. Let's check. A hindered character moves at half normal speed. Right. And a vulnerable character uh, ha has their active defenses rounding up. All right. So as the chain wraps around your arm, you find yourself hindered and somewhat vulnerable to the next attack right well he punched me two turns ago so now i'm fine you Bang. you have regeneration 20 mm. no isn't it like five, once you five is every other round you heal one condition or status. So you would heal either your bruise or the staggered condition, which I believe the staggered condition would go first because you heal the worst one first. All right. I Even in this game, we've I've had it explained to me two different ways. I've had it explained that way, but then it's also been explained to me that it's, a bruise and a condition. Ah, uh, I was just reading this. I'm going to double check, but I am. Like, I was. I was looking sure. for. I was looking for it in the library, and I couldn't find it. Oh, it's right under power effects. In power effects. Yep. There's healing. Regeneration. Regeneration. Remove penalties to your toughness checks due to damage equal to your regeneration rank per minute. You then recover other damage conditions equal to your regeneration rank each minute, starting from your most severe condition. Right. So first penalties to your toughness checks due to damage, then the other conditions. Okay, so it wasn't staggered first. So you're still sta That's fine. But I'm at zero bruises. Yeah, the, the, the way we had been reading it before we switched over to this uh, was you do both like on the same turn. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think that's the way that's supposed to be. Yeah. And any mistakes of the past can be swept under the rug and just, you know, moving forward with the right way. Yeah. You gonna hide under that car for the rest of the fight? Alright. Only made it. Let's see how well this is. Hey, that's a hit at least. Yeah. Wow. 29, huh? Ooh, Mr. Tough Guy. That's my big bite. Oh no! Three <laughs> three degrees I of fucking, failure. I fucking never is dug. Get, get 
fucking s- oh. Wait, oh. what? What happens? Oh, I'd, I'd probably bite through his fucking wrist for his fucking ankle, like come up through the car and just gnaw through something important. Well, there's no instant death for three failures, so no. what? Oh, if that's just a that's a pure attack. I just bent it very very hard. There's no uh, condition applied. Nope, you're damaged. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then he is staggered. But this guy's both of my conditions are tough. Got it. All right. So you have managed to stagger him. I actually versus dodge. I could probably use him more often against people who are the size of global. That's my turn. God, it's gonna be fucked up if if uh, if uh, Killing Moth hits the the help I fall and I can't get up button, and we beat Lolo by the time they get here. All right, so now he is going to use his chain again, even though he's staggered, to try and um completely make you defenseless and immobile. So. Uh, dodge versus 23. Ah, fuck. Yep, so now you are defenseless and immobile as you are completely wrapped up in the chain. Is that chain magic or anything? I don't know. Is it? Invisible. Uh, it's not visibly glowing, if that's what you're asking. Doesn't have some like fucked up energy to it or whatever. Nothing that you see. You say that, but is there any way I can get out of the chains? Uh, yeah, you can attempt to, uh, break free of the chains either by using a strength check to burst the chain or by, uh, making an, um, uh, agility, uh, check to try and escape them or dexterity. Yeah, I'm going to strength. All right. You attempt to burst the chains. However, these chains appear to be forged from some alien alloy that does not burst as easily as steel. And you uh, strain and stretch against them, but even your rock, you know, body cannot burst them. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're going to need a nat 20 to break these chains. All right. You gonna approach him from a different direction? Give him another one. I realize it is versus God, so why not? All right. Oh, I don't know why it rolled twice. Uh, you're also targeting me for some reason. Yeah, oh. you you missed Great King Rap, but hit. Uh, oh no. Wait, that's not. What? I'm just gonna roll again. Pretend yeah. I didn't fuck up that badly. <laughs> Dodge. Yep. Why won't you dodge? One that... degree of failure. All oh, right. Very quick. I haven't used this ability since fighting fucking monsters. Give me a second. Uh.
So what happens? Uh, I'm trying to. Uh, first level is impaired. He gets a minus two to everything. Okay. Uh, All right, he is now impaired. Also, the correct condition for uh, attacking somebody from stealth is vulnerable. Unaware is... Ah, gotcha. All right. All right, so now that I have you all wrapped up and all of that, I am going to uh, release my frag grenades in a burst area uh, for all of us, myself included. Odd flex. <laughs> Probably going to kill me. Oh, that's a 25. So uh, remember, because you're... Um, Oh wait, your your active defensive toughness isn't an active defense. So yeah, toughness versus twenty five. Man, I hope it knows this. Oh, but I'm defenseless. That only reduces your active defenses to to zero. You still get your oh, toughness. Well. Oh well, then that should be a twenty six. Because my toughness is plus 12. Oh, wait. Why didn't it add that then? I have no clue. I'm going to double check defenseless. Because if it's saying that maybe toughness isn't active. I, I thought it wasn't. That wouldn't make much sense to me. Because that's. Like I don't actively make my skin tougher. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not yeah, seeing don't... anything, but it's it it like applied the bonus from everybody else, but not you, and it says defenseless. So yeah. I'm gonna go with the computer knows better than me. So that would be three and four three three yeah oh 14 yeah so three three and i get uh two so i am uh taking another bruise And then both of you are uh, staggered, which, Tremor, you were already staggered, so now you're incapacitated. Yep. And then don't forget another bruise. Yep. For you too, Great King Rat. All right. So now we're all blown up because I dropped a grenade and yeah, you know, it just weird flex to do that, but whatever. Oh, I also forgot that uh, I did heal one bruise that round. Because I got regeneration too. What now? All right, Tremor, you are incapacitated. But no bruises. But no bruises. I'm bruised and staggered. Also, healing, that's very fast for healing, too. I have, like... Give me a sec.
Oh, I also have regeneration too. Regeneration how much? Two. Two? Okay, so that would be... Um, Ten rounds. Yeah. So why did you regenerate? Well, it's got to get to ten rounds. So, uh, said he just did regenerate. So I, I I did just look it up. Uh, dodge and parry are the active defenses. So the, why is it? Bot, why is it doing bot, that? That's that's dumb. The, com the computer is wrong. Good. All right. Well, then here you go. You're still staggered. Woo! All right. Uh, I'm gonna do the roll to see if I break out. Then, nope. Right. Now, uh, you you have regeneration. Uh, so basically, the way it goes: if you have one rank in regeneration, you heal one every ten rounds. If you have five, you heal one every other round, and uh, so that means that with regeneration two, it would be like what every eight rounds. Oh Something wait! Like that? Shit! I wouldn't be staggered. I would be healthy because I wouldn't have had a bruise from the grenade. Correct. So I'm perfectly fine now. Well, you're still hindered, vulnerable, defenseless, and immobile. Well, yeah, yeah, but like I'm not hurt. Right. Yeah. So every uh, it, it's divided evenly across. Uh, the minute um, so uh, you you would heal two things every minute so yeah no you're right every five rounds holy shit yeah had to do the math there quick I'm like no it should oh, only cool. be like every eight rounds or something like that but yeah so you reduce one bruise nice oh, yeah. All right. Oh. All right. That's all I can do. Okay, so. I have hide in plain sight. Does that mean I don't have to move to hide? Uh, no, it still takes an action. You don't have to move, per se, but it still takes an action. Alright. Alright. Uh, so now, I heal another bruise. And I am going to uh, use my bolter gun with multi-attack at Great King Rat. How many ranks of regeneration do you say this guy has? Uh, five. So every other round. Yep. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Blasting away okay. at Great King Rat, he he misses you. Standing still. How'd you do that? Because you're standing still. <laughs> Ah. It's Emma, can turn. you use most of your powers without moving? Yeah. So. Like, I could just be shooting him. Because, like, that doesn't actually require me to do anything. Oh. I'll shoot him right. next turn. 
cool. I'm so staggered. So guess what? I'm gonna call him some names and piss him off. I'm gonna go hide in a bush. Oh, wait, no, you wouldn't have healed just yet because it's five rounds from when you get hurt. You weren't hurt in the first round. Oh, but you were hurt from before. So five rounds in. Yeah, got it. Got it. I'm sorry. It's it's chemo week, so brain fog is very prevalent. What was I hurt from before this? Uh, you guys had been fighting the the Red Hood and and company. I feel fully three minutes. Yeah, this happened like right at the end of that. Like immediately. I set up a trap and everything. Immediate transition. No, it didn't. We, it didn't? We went, we set, no, we set up a trap for um we were trying to lure out uh Playface Batman. Oh, and you found the other Batman, yeah, that's right. Anyway, thirty seven. So I set you back down to one. That's what I'm hiding. So small. All right. And now I am going to. Uh, let's see. I am going to use my frag grenades against both of you again. How do you miss with an area attack? I don't think you can. Oh, well, you did. Uh, but that does have the difficulty class for this for you. And of course, Tremor, I can't miss you, so you just have to roll against 25. All right. I'm rolling tough then? Yep. That's a 30 total. Hey, that's, uh, that's higher than 12. All right. So, uh, well, it's rounded up, but still. Uh, so, Tremor, uh, you are okay in your rock skin, and Great King Rat, you managed to jump out of the way just enough. God, that probably does look long. Yeah, I'm gonna... You know what you could do? Yeah. Out of character, you could uh, lessen the suit and just sort of slip into the ground. I really could just pop out of the suit, but... Fuck. That would have been no. so funny. No, A no. rock comes streaking down at the car and smashes the front end, sending car alarms blaring. It's loud. I won't miss next time. You're gonna miss next time. Actually, fuck it, I'll help you. I'm gonna help you not miss next time. Uh, I'm gonna faint him. Have a, let's have a little bit of a, an, acrobat, uh, an acrobatics contest. Good luck. What do I roll? Uh, it's either acrobatics or... thought it was awareness or perception. No, for fainting. Yeah, you roll your agility and then... Oh, you can roll perception, yeah. No, I'm going to look it up.
since brain fog is in full effect, I might as well. <laughs> Sense motive, is that even a thing in Mutants of Masterminds? No. There's acrobatics, athletics, deception, insight, intimidation, investigation, perception, persuasion, sleight of hand, stealth, technology, treatment, and vehicles. I think the perception would also act as What are you laughing about, Travis? Uh, people just talking about how fucked up the third generation Pokemon games were, and uh, how the Riddler must have fucking designed them, just for the bullshit with the Mirage Island, Feebas, and the Reggies. You know what, I'm glad he's having fun. Yeah. He got a job at the Pokemon Company. Good for him. In, ca in canon, if the Riddler, if Batman didn't exist, the Riddler would be designing video games. So. All right, so I am now vulnerable on against the next attack against me. Cool. I'm using I'm using the Agile thing. I'm using I have uh, let me find the name of the ability. I have a thing called redirect. So now that now Kramer can benefit from that. My ass is out of here because that was move. That was movement. Oh wait, you can't you can't move and and uh, do anything. You're still staggered. I know, but it's a it, agile faint's part of my movement. Oh oh, part of my nine hundred feet of movement. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so now, uh. I heal again, and I am going to light up Tremor. Understandable. Have a nice day. I am a threat. Tremor still seems rude to me, man. Now, I do have multi-attack, so how many degrees of success is that? Uh, I'm okay. That's against my dodge. Uh, oh, wait. Your dodge is zero. So, uh, I don't know why it, why it rolled that. Uh, I automatically hit you for maximum. Um, so that is uh, three whole degrees of failure. Oh, beans. Toughness versus 35. Well, I'm definitely going to fail this. 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> it teetered on the seven for a second, but yeah. So that's you're that's you're just you're out. You're you're done. Uh, I I'm not gonna use the um like you're dead or or anything, but we are gonna rule that you are dying. Oh, well now I'm incapacitated. You tell him. Tell him. Dying. Tell him again. You're dying. Yeah, there. That's official from the wife, so. Yeah. Well, I, I auto-stabilize when I'm dying, so. Oh, you auto-stabilize when you're dying? Okay. What? Hey, no, oh, I'll do it. No, get off that. I know, right? Fucking cheating ass players. I, I'll, I'll yeah. kill him anyway. I'll get a, I'll get a god-killing sword. I'm a, I'm a fucking diehard. My wife says that's bullshit. Should be same rules for all. Alright, so next turn I'll be at zero bruises, and two turns after that I'll be up. Alright, I'm gonna let him linger with that uh, vulnerability and just sneak up on him again. Okay, now th now you were staggered, so that's all you can do. Yes. Okay. But I'm gonna sneak up on. I'm gonna use the car as cover in case he decides to drop more fucking grenades on himself. Ready? <laughs> all right. I am going to uh, blow up your friend some more. Understandable. Oh, shit. Fuck. Yeah, that ain't good. Yeah. Versus 50. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a fourteen. And my yeah. my ruling on this is that he has now blasted the rock completely off of you. And because you're incapacitated, you can't put it back on. So all of your geokinesis, uh, like protection, is over. Yeah. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm just making sure you understand that you're very like in danger here. Yeah. I assume that's another bruise. But then the first Isn't that weird how it's just one more bruise? It's not twenty one bruises though, just just two. Yeah, yeah. I I I I hit the two and then I was like, Oh, but it goes back to one. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work like that. You got you gotta, you know, click it again. So uh uh, you know, just just um you know, for the record, with all the, like, damage I've done and everything, if I wanted to, I could be like, yeah, he blasts right through the rock and killed you. You know, I'm not trying to kill you. I just want to make sure that this fight means something. Yeah. Hey, the range of those grenades is a, is a three by three square, right? Uh, yeah, I think I extended it to four by four accidentally the last time I used it, though. My bad. That's fine. Um, no, it's not. He's got... No, 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 it's, it, things happen. And they're all in his chest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a bunch of uh, grenades strapped all uh, all over him. Cool. I'm going to climb him and pull the fucking pins. Okay, but you're staggered, so you can't do that. I'm, that's, I'm in next to him, and that would be my only action this turn. Oh, I can do um extra effort. Okay, if you do extra effort, then you still got a roll to try and uh, grab them. Uh, Slide a hand. Here we go. Let's see. Come on. Just a little 15. It, it's not sleight of hand, though, because oh, you're not. It be. it, you you got to try and hit me. Oh. Yeah, just oh, hit man. me. Yeah, just hit me. Hit me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just you know, yeah. the sleight of hand is is good though. It adds a little flavor in there to to all 26. of that. 
All right, so as you go to hit me, you grab a couple of the pins. So now we all blow up. Yay! Hey, no, I, it's just being me and the guy. No, it's three by three. Yeah, and he's not in the three oh, by three. Oh, 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 yeah, I see. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. It, it, it would be if it was in here, but not where he's at. So it's just him and him. He's right. Yeah, centered off of the Batman who frags here, which is Batman with Lobo's body. Yeah, so, so this guy... He, he pulled a couple of these grenade pins right here that he's got on him, you know, along with his awesome metal armor. And and so now these grenades are going to blow up right on top of uh, Batman Lobo and Great King Rat's going to take some of that, too. I'm not I'm also going to not try to like, cling to him or anything. I want to be blown away from him by this. Right, like, like fucking Dio getting, getting hit, hit by, by that vampire. vampire. Yes. <laughs> All right, like, twenty-five well, toughness. Oh, oh man, I take a bruise. Bubble. Yeah. You are taking three, so you are now incapacitated. You take one bruise and are incapacitated. How far away from him am I? Uh, one square. Right there. Oh, no, she doesn't have enough ranch, guys. Oh, no. I need to download more ranch. That was a bad joke. Either. So now, with both of you incapacitated, uh, <laughs> he heals one wound and I'm going to try to kill you. Because, mo mostly because I know I can't, but yeah. That's, that's good, I'm off going. Uh, flying. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to frag you now. Well, that's quite rude. Oh, wait, I can't miss because you're incapacitated. Ah. So, uh, your defense is zero, so 21. The fact that it keeps missing is so funny. It is funny, but I can't miss. That's just like in, in game. Why does it like, keep adding? Winning. Stop adding to it. All right, uh, the difficulty class is 35. It's okay. like adding more and more every time. I'm dying. Yes, you are indeed dying. Except I'm not. I'm just incapacitated. I also have die hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just blasting away at you. Da -da 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 Take that! Die, you fucking rat! Yeah, wouldn't be the first time breaking rats and stone full of holes and left to die. Oh, but you do take another bruise, of course. Ouch. Fire Island all over again. Tremor? Yeah. It's your turn. I know, yeah, but still. Next turn, I'll be at zero bruises. We'll see about that. Oh, hey. I'm going to kill all of you. My fatigue goes away because I spent a turn not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Is that... I, I think you have to be... Active though. That's the joke, goddammit. 
Okay. Sorry. I just, you know. No, no. It's just, it's... <laughs> Just laying on the ground full of holes. Oh, hey, I'm not fatigued anymore. What a restful sleep. <laughs> you gotta kill Great King Rat like a fucking vampire. Alright, so what do you do? Oh, you do heal one more bruise, by the way. Now that it is round 10. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh wait, but we already covered that uh that uh it didn't start until later, so never mind. Not nice. So okay. I took I took that damage on round five, so either way. Oh there you go. There you go. Good good good. So what do you do, rat? Uh, I'm a conscious, aren't I? Yeah. So do you end your turn? I mean, yeah. I, so I, I don't have any. T- All right, I am going to shoot Tremor. That's fair. All right. And yeah, that... your defenses are zero still, so four degrees of success means that this is difficulty class 35, toughness. And don't forget, you don't get any of your toughness bonuses from your geokinesis right now. Well, it's a good thing geokinesis give me any of that. Well, like your rock suit, you know? Yeah. What? I thought for sure you had uh, protection or something. Yeah. Stone skin. Yeah, yeah that, that's just my skin. Oh, your skin is now stone. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Well, I, I, I named it Stone Skin because I was like, that sounds like a cool name, but it's basically like his skin tough. The The rock suit's always been like more of a secret identity deal. Got it. Uh, All right. So that is a, uh, that's a 22. So uh, that is three degrees of failure, which means that uh, you are now um, dying. <laughs> uh, also, it should have gone off Lobo's turn, so literally nothing changes. Oh my Cause god. Because I, oh I heal god. one, I automatically stabilize... Uh, I thought you healed last round. Uh, I healed on round nine. Right, last round. It's round. It's round eleven. It's round ten. Damn you! Right, I'll heal next when you hit that little arrow button. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, but still. Uh, I uh, just realized something. Um, rules is written. I don't think Lobo can kill us. I think you need two people to kill somebody with die hard. Welcome to hell. <laughs> it is very funny to think about this just very angry man trying to kill these <laughs> two unconscious people. This is this isn't actually happening. Lobo's having a nightmare. <laughs> hey, I'm not Welcome Lobo. I, I I'm Batman. That's gonna Why be a thing for me. I keep fragging them. I want them blowing the chunks. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, I'm sure there are some chunks of you here and there. Yeah. Yeah, it'll it'll be it'll grow back. It's fine. This is fine. All right, now I'm no longer vulnerable. Woo! Good for him. And I am going to shoot you some more. That's fair. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, difficulty class 35. That's a 21. Yep. So uh, you are dying and another bruise. Eventually he will reach the end of his toughness uh, be of bruises and die for real. Yeah, that's going to be a while. Yeah. Am I anywhere? <laughs> Wait, is, is, did they come for me now? The what? What? The fucking... The people. Viv's people. Yeah, I... Viv seems to be uh, in inaccessible at the moment. No, no, the, the fucking people who are are they coming to collect? Oh no, because you're not dead. Is there yeah. a man in like a, is there a man in a fucking cloak with you know checking his watch? Nope. <laughs> Wayne, don't worry, I'll distract him with my just utter refusal to die, and you just focus on healing up. I am going to shoot you some more. I'm going to sh- I'm going to shoot you to death. This is a man a man with a fucking handgun trying to kill this thing. 35. Yeah. 23. So that's 3, so you are dying and another bruise. Yep. My bruise goes down. I can only imagine the look on his fucking face whenever, like, he damages me, and then just that bruise disappears. Yeah, you guys keep regenerating, and he just keeps blasting away. I feel an ammo. Infinite. Uh, do be like that sometimes. It's a bolter. Those things, a fucking bolter round weighs like two pounds individually. Wait, why does Lobo have a fucking Warhammer weapon? <laughs> Do you do anything besides lay there? Can I? Nope. Alright. Why'd you ask? Because it's still your turn. I, yeah. I heal my uh, impaired condition. And I shoot Tremor some more. And that is still th- 3 degrees, so it is still 35. Isn't the base 10? Have you been... You, you, have, you have zero. I thought I had a zero bonus. I thought all your defenses were set to zero. Let me double check what I read. I'm reading about Die Hard. It is, yeah, as soon as the round flips over, anyone who's dying stabilizes, so... And he doesn't have Act, a... Active defense bonuses of zero. Yeah. Toughness isn't an active defense. Yeah, but like... So... so you still get the base of ten. Understood. Yeah. So that that's just a one. Yep. So that's a, that's a what, 30? Yeah.
my brew supposed to be three or is it No, no, I had already said it. Oh. Because you're obviously going to take at least one bruise. I mean... It's possible, I, but yeah. If I roll a nat 20, I won't. Never mind. That, that's a... That's a... That's a... That's a six... Or a... Yeah, 16. Life is sweet. Okay. And you're growing up so fast. I blew myself up on round eight. What? Oh, right. <laughs> you gotta make good time last. Literally, if there was a, like, raw, if there was a child here, he could kill us. On the ground, it's if somebody fucking walked up and kicked you. And now I am going to shoot Tremor some more. Because he's just really <laughs> pissing me off. That's yeah. two degrees. So 35. Uh, that's two degrees of success, though. Right. So shouldn't that be a 32? Oh, I'm sorry. 32. Yeah. It's <sighs> another bruise. Goodbye, bruise. Second on killer moth, killer moth doing? Uh, I don't know what he's doing. It's only been a minute and a half, but uh, you do heal one bruise. Oh yeah, that's my base one, and I've had zero bruises. Guess what? In three rounds, everything hurts. I was as a dog, and I'm uh, getting shot. I'm no longer staggered. And now that I am no longer staggered, I jump over to Great King Rat and start pummeling him with my fists. Well, that's rude. Very rude. Oh my god. That is a critical hit. That'll do it. It's a bruise. Yep, so that's that's three failures, so you are bruised and dying. I got good news for you. <laughs> Alright, nothing this turn. <laughs> This does have uh, the mouth feel of a Volvo comic, doesn't it? <laughs> and now I jump over to Tremor. And because he is already incapacitated and uh, tied up, I um, use my, my bat cuffs to incapacitate him. And right. Tremor, you are now uh, completely shackled. All right, but he didn't damage me. Correct. I'm undoing his progress. Right. And then I jump back over to Great King Rat, and I back cuff him. Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter. As soon as, if, if I ever wake up, I can do <laughs> If I ever wake up. <laughs> Is that the combat? 
Well, technically, you guys could do something yet. I mean, yeah, but like, can we skip ahead to the point when? Yep. Uh, or is he going to keep beating us to death? Nope. All right. Cool. As soon as I wake up, really fun thing. I'm going to wait one round, so I'm no longer fatigued. Okay. Um. Describe these cuffs to me. What's he got? What's he working with? Well, you guys don't wake up right away. You don't. Yeah. You don't wake up for a long time, and when you do, you are extremely groggy. He apparently slipped you some kind of sleeping uh, drug uh, after you were unconscious. You wake up in a uh, high-tech warehouse in a cell that has energy, you know, containment, and you see him typing away at at a uh, computer. Hey, so, you so you are no that? longer cuffed. Oh, cool. Hey, where do you get a keyboard that big? I got bad eyesight. Amazonian.com. <laughs> so, uh... Why? There's something a lot bigger going on here. You guys have no idea. That was about it. There is not one universe, but many. A multiverse. And across this multiverse, the balance is unequal. Whereas you have a relatively light universe, I come from a very dark multiverse. I... That doesn't explain why you beat us up in the street. Yeah, it doesn't explain why you tried to shoot Krema for like, God, 80 seconds? God, my, I... I... my body is very sore. You're telling me I blew myself up. I work for someone. Someone who wants you. And they will be here okay. shortly. Okay, now, wait, so why did you try to kill us? Well, you didn't die, and it kind of pissed me off. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Back up with me. Back up with me a little bit. Back up with me just slightly, please. He pushes a button, and all of a sudden, the cages are muted. I do not care for this man. Is there a floor in this cage? It's energy shielded. Oh, we're in like a fucking hard light box? Yeah. I'm still gonna try. And, and uh, so, um, I don't have too much, like, exposition here, so I'm just gonna get to the good part. Alright. Uh, Please. he opens up a portal... And a, uh, a, uh, weird cloaked figure comes through and on a pair of chains, he has two demon looking children who are wearing Robin costumes. Hmm. He comes through. And, and, uh, looks at you through his black cloak and he says, finally, we have breached through good work. And, uh, that is where we draw to a close for this session. I want to thank you guys for playing. I want to thank anyone who's watching. And as always, everyone, good gaming.